Hi Aries, I hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-August to the end of August 2021. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation. That's okay, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading if you want. And because it's general, it also means that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see what is going on with Aries for the second half of August. All right, and we have contemplation. Okay, so somebody is thinking a lot about something, possibly trying to make a decision because that's usually when we are contemplating a lot, although it could be about just about anything. So we will find out. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of August. Who is contemplating here? All right, so we're going to be taking a look at each of your energies separately, starting with you. We have the King of Swords. The Two of Cups and the Two of Wands. All right, well, I definitely feel like there is some thinking here on your end, for sure here. Um, <clears throat> I feel like there, you're trying to think very logically about something and I feel like you're being very firm in whatever it is that you are contemplating. So you're still kind of shaky about it. Like you're still kind of, um, there's this little bit of planning or, or trying to think ahead kind of standing without taking action just yet when it comes to a love situation, but you are, I feel like you're just trying to be as determined as possible, even though you're still kind of just looking at the situation rather than having fully um, <clears throat> decided on one way or another, but there's still this sense of determinism. So it's, it's kind of interesting how this is playing out. Let's see what's going on with them. We have the Six of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Okay. This person that you're dealing with, and of course the roles can be reversed, um, is, is kind of moving away from, from this situation or from another situation, okay? It could be from this situation. I don't see it necessarily being like an ending. I don't see it being like, um, like this is it, this is done. It's more of, you know what, whatever it is that was keeping me in pain or whatever it is that was um, holding me back or keeping me in the dark, that's what I'm moving away from. And it could even be from an aspect of this connection, like just leaving something in the past. Something that was not, not serving this person or just really trying to move towards their own, their own truth here. And I feel like this is something that possibly has been taking them a long time to do, but this is something that they are now in the process of actually doing in a very practical way, moving towards towards the truth here. So let's see what is coming up or the message for you. We have the Six of Wands, the Lovers, and the Ten of Wands. So I feel like something is definitely, um, something's definitely got to give here. All right, I do see there being some movement towards success. I do feel like there is a potential to move towards victory, okay? Whatever that means to you, especially when it comes to making a decision concerning a love connection. And I feel like that's what this whole thing is about. And I definitely feel like this is um, referring to somebody who, who does hold a big part of your heart. There is a lot of love here. There's a lot of intensity, a lot of emotions. And I feel like, Whatever it is, it's been pretty difficult and I feel like it's gradually moving towards the ending of that. Like there's been a weight that, that I, feel, I feel like it's the both of you 
um, have been carrying and that weight is about to be released. Now, maybe of course that heaviness, whatever it is, that weight could be only on your end or only on their end. I feel like it's definitely on your end and may or may not be for the other person as well, but mostly I'm getting it for you. Um, I do also get kind of that the message for you here is to whatever it is that you do and in whichever way that you move, you know, don't allow your ego to, to take over. And when I say ego, I don't mean just necessarily with this person, but just in general, like it could even be your ego when it comes to society, when it comes to other people, you know, um, how you are viewed, you know, do not let that be a part of this decision that you are making or whatever it is that you are thinking about. So let's clarify some of these. Aries. All right, let's see that King of Swords. All right, we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups, the Devil, and the Fool. Yeah, okay, it really feels like there's... You're thinking very logically about a decision, but maybe it's a little too logically. Um, again, I feel like there is that sense of determinism here. This is something to do with either somebody from your past or somebody that you just feel this very strong connection with, which possibly... Um, there's an element here that is unhealthy, and I feel like that is one of the issues that is making you contemplate. Or maybe there are multiple situations here for you, and one of them is very unhealthy, but maybe it's a strong connection. And you are determined to make a decision, I feel, um, or determined to just really trust your intuition, no matter what. You do feel like it is a risk, and I feel like um, the fact that you feel that it is a risk and you're afraid of losing possibly something else from your past or this particular situation from your past, that is what is creating some kind of fear. That is what is creating some kind of overthinking or just kind of keeping you stuck. Although I don't feel like you're actually that stuck right now. I feel like you're just now getting out of the stuckness, but that is what has kept you stuck. Kept you stuck to the past. Possibly this could even involve children for some of you and for others of you. It's, it's just that it's, you know, somebody maybe that you've shared a lot with in the past, but you know that there is something unhealthy here. I do see, and again, I don't know if it's the same person here showing up as this Two of Cups for you. Could be. And for some of you, it could be two separate situations. Either way, even if this is one person that you are thinking about and trying to make a decision about, I feel like it is mostly your own your own headspace that 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 is he could be keeping you back from actually. Um, really moving forward on what you already know that you want to do. Let's see that two of wands. All right, the ace of cups, the two of wands again, and the two of cups again. <laughs> Wow, okay, so very similar energy is showing up again. So there is a lot of love here. There's definitely a connection here that there is like just a crazy amount of love. It's pure, it's genuine. Um, you just know it, you just feel it. And it's, a, it's like you're just standing there looking at it. And it's like, I feel like you're just really ready to make that leap, but it's all about you overcoming that fear, the fear possibly of the unknown. Or possibly, like I said, you know, um, for some of you, it might be moving away from a connection where there is something unhealthy and maybe this is something separate, not necessarily love. It could be anything. Um, but in some way, it is directly affecting your, your love situation. 
So let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. All right. Okay, too many flipping over here. So we have the sun, the moon, and, wow, the world. Three major arcana cards here. This person is moving away from, like I said, from darkness. I mean, this is like, wow. There is a completion here. So this person, I don't know what it is that they are doing, what it is that they have been doing. Um, again, I feel like there is something here that was keeping them stuck in a dark cycle or they were feeling fear, they were feeling some doubt. Whatever that is, this person is moving away from that. Very, I, I feel very successfully. Um, really ending a chapter in their lives. I feel like this is actually really huge. This is like a major leveling up, like leaving that, leaving secrets behind or anything that just felt dark for them where they felt like they could not be happy. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups and Temperance. What is going on? This this person that you're dealing with, I... I oh, so I don't know what it is. This must be the same person that you're feeling this much love for. I and mean, this is the only way I can explain this. Or at least that's what it, how it feels to me. Definitely could be, could be slightly different, okay, for each of you. But... This person is on their way, really putting their life together, um, making things work, finding solutions, moving forward. I do feel like it's a gradual process and I do feel like it is something that possibly took them a long time um, to do. But this person is moving towards happiness. They have done a lot of work on healing. So again, you know, the roles can be um, reversed. I can't stress that enough. Let me see that Ace of Swords. All right, the Ten of Swords and Strength. All right, whatever's going on with this person, this is this is a really big thing. I feel like this person has um, had a lot of difficulties in their past. A lot of difficulties in their past and this is a time of serious healing for them this is somebody who has had to find a lot of strength in order to move forward and to get on the right path in some way um, whatever that is and I feel like a lot of that a big part of that is actually just finding balance within their own self and actually being able to find um, happiness from within rather than from without and because this is something that this person um, I feel has finally achieved they are on their way to moving towards something very very beautiful um, I don't see anything about this person not not being interested in you if anything I feel like this person may have been hurt in the past, possibly by this connection, um, possibly by other things. And this is something that is finally healing within them. And I feel like this person is just really living their truth at the moment. I feel like they're, they don't have ego in the, in the way, or at least this is what they're moving towards. All right, um, for this specific time period, there's just a lot of light, a lot of truth, a completion, a completion of a difficult cycle, moving towards love. I see them also as being very patient. So I don't know how this would tie into your situation for the second half of August, but this is what I'm seeing. I feel like it almost feels like this person is kind of like standing back 
and kind of giving you space to figure out whatever it is that, that you are contemplating. I see that contemplation card being, being up here for you. And again, it feels like, you know, th there's a connection here that you really feel a lot of love for. And it's just a matter of you, you know, sorting out just your own self, your own self when it comes to this. So let's take a look at the, um, at the message here for you. See the Six of Wands? All right, we have the King of Wands and we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, yeah, see, so this is definitely um, ego that can get you trapped, that can keep you stuck or keep you from, you know, really finalizing that de decision and taking that leap forward. So this is just spirits, um, just, just giving you a little message of a precaution here, okay? Because that's just going to keep you stuck in your headspace. If you're thinking about, you know, well, what does it mean to be successful? What does it mean to be right? How right do I have to have been? Or how perfect does everything have to be in my life? And what does that say about me? You know, that, that's just not going to help you. What is going to help you is thinking about where your heart is. So let's see the lovers. All right, and we have the Queen of Cups, exactly, your intuition, all right? Your own intuition, your own heart. That's the only thing you need right now um, to listen to. Where is it that you feel the love? Once you make this decision, that is when you will be able to release this heaviness that you are feeling, this burden that you are feeling. And I feel like you've been carrying this for a long time. And it's really all about you know, not worrying about what other people think, not worrying about, um, you know, how other people are going to feel. You know, everybody's responsible for their own self. You are not responsible for somebody else's happiness. So you are only responsible for your own happiness. Um, and obviously, if you have children, taking care of your children, okay, um, you are responsible for that as well. Um, but it's all about you following your heart here. That is the main message. That is going to release you of stress and burden. So, Aries. Let's see. And again, I feel like this, I feel like this other person here has been very patient. <laughs> Very patient. I feel like they've done a lot of work on themselves and just gotten to this point of being very patient, especially after having dealt with a lot of pain here. All right. So the final message for you is the full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Yes, the real you. All right. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you, Aries, so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.